Hey everyone, New England Gardening here. Here is a, a Zingarella fig tree, the main crop starting to to ripen. I just actually found one on the ground, fell overnight. It's got a little spot of mold there, but just little sugar ants didn't get to it. There's one here. I think I'll remove that. They seem to be smaller than I remember. But now that I'm looking up at the top here, there's some others that have swelling up. More actually, this is that this little thing of fig honey right there, if I'm not mistaken. Which is odd because it's not even close to uh, changing completely to the darker color. Oh, I see something in the back here. Here's another one. Oh, that just. It's really small, it just fell off in my hand. So yeah, I got the main crop here. Oh, there's another one. It's been pretty hot in this lean too, especially yesterday. Something like 94 degrees in here. So we have cooler temperatures uh, forecast for the, for the next week. And I brought this in. This is just loaded with with figs, but I think the new environment's been stressful on it. I had some leaves changing. This is Maltese Beauty from 2013, acquired in 2013. I believe I bought it as a as a plant, a rooted plant. It's got a lot of figs on it this year. So here are the Cinderella figs that I have. Get that piece of leaf there off. Okay. So, take a look at these. They bring the scale, but really, you can see they're, they're pretty small, this one being the largest. I do have a uh, black, uh, not a black Madeira, I do have an Ashia black. I think I'm going to pick because. As is always the case, uh, when I see a fig that's ripening, uh, the critters see it ripening too. So I was going to bring it inside yesterday. I said, I'll bring it inside. I didn't. And then sure enough, something pecked at it overnight or early this morning. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, so it's one of the figs that, um, you know, the, the this tree is heavily infected with fig mosaic virus, but occasionally it shows its potential with one or two figs uh, developing as you would expect from an um, uninfected tree. Somehow everything just comes together. So this one here has a nice split on it and then I noticed the pecking. Was, oh, it's falling off though, so it's practically it's pretty good size. So yeah, I might as well pick it because uh, the wasp will probably start going, or yellow jackets start going at it. And look at that, no, the eye is completely closed. But I'm sure, it's, I don't know, it might be just dry inside, but there's another one here that I started picking at, so. I'll take this one off too, although it's, it's not really ripe. I guess I'll start off with the Ishia Black. It's 50 grams. So let's take a look inside. Ooh, some. Some fig uh, honey there, looks like. It's a shame that somebody can't figure out how to cure this fig mosaic virus. So, see that glistening a little bit. It's overcast uh, today.
So let me give this a try. Get a closer up, close up view there. I wonder why the birds were going after it. It's got good taste. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. Would have been better if it was dehydrated. Hmm. This one doesn't have any seed crunch, oddly. There are some seeds here. But yeah, you can see the See the color of that? Yeah, it's almost like jam. Hmm. Well, let's take a look at this one. See what's going on. Picked a little early. Yeah. So the rest of the figs on that tree probably have another month. Seems drier though, this one. Maybe it's not a total loss. Give it a try. Hmm. Not as sweet though. It does have some raw flavor to it. Yeah. So let's go look at these Zingarellas. So here's the largest one, only 25 grams. So let's take a look inside, give it a taste. It's more of a honey fig. Let's give this a try. It's almost like Breaking a wishbone, I'll go for this half here. Hmm. Now even the skin's got getting sweetness associated with it. Yeah, that's a honey fig, it's very sweet, sweeter than the um, Ashia Black. Let's just go right into this one that was on the ground. Don't get any riker than that. Ooh, yeah. Darker in color. I watered it yesterday because the leaves were really drooping. It was so hot in here. Let's give this one a try. Make sure I don't see anything moving around. It's pretty, it was a closed eye. And I haven't noticed any. Forgot about that. This is a type of season now going into September where fruit flies end up in the lean-to. But nothing so far. Let's give this a try. Wow. That, when you get to the point where you it's dehydrated enough that actually started to taste like it was the closest thing so far this year. Overall, that's what you get. 
the fig tasting just like the interior of a fig newton or those figs you buy the fig wheels so even though this is a honey fig that was uh, that was approaching the thickness the consistency of a dehydrated like the, or the Kalamata figs that you get from California there those fig wheels so here's another one Mm, yeah. So that's how you know it's ripe, is when you find it on the ground. <laughs> so that was that definitely. You eat a plate full of those, you're gonna have a stomach ache. They're so sweet. That was very good. That was surprising. I didn't think it was going to be that uh, that sweet. So this is New England Gardening, just sampling the Ashia Black, it was good, and uh, shows you the potential that tree could have if it didn't have the uh, fig mosaic virus, and I'd say the best, it was bested by the Zingarella, which is just very sweet fig. I get one left here, might as well eat it. So this is New England Gardening. Oh, you know what? Let me show you real quick the status of the air layer on that. On the Zingarella. Yeah, so these leaves were actually, there's a little sprout coming up here uh, on the base where the soil line is. And it was wilting a little bit yesterday. I just watered it. And, uh, I don't know if you can get a good view here. Bunch of roots in there. And they're yellowing, so they're like... Getting, let's see if I can see. It's sort of like a pocket of soil here, I guess. Well, this is tilted a little bit, so the soil, I think, is falling this way a little bit. And sort of like... Uh, soil sort of stiffened up, but there's a good root mass in there. I was thinking of removing it, but maybe I'll just leave it on. I'll give it some thought. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, if I could, maybe I should turn this around. Maybe that'll help. All right, that's a better view. Can you see the roots there? So yeah, there's a good, good amount of roots on the bottom here too. So that's the status of the air layer. That uh, I forget when I started, I did a video on it though. So this is New England Gardening. Oh, good thing I moved it. I just found a fig that fell off, but I'll eat that uh, off camera. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.